Introducing the thickest paddle to hit the market, this is the Diadem Warrior Paddle. Diadem takes paddle innovation to new levels by introducing a unique 19 mm thick paddle achieved through the layering of three different types of honeycomb. The result is a solid, stable feeling paddle that delivers a soft feel on contact and optimal control. With an 8.5 ounce average weight, there's also room for tapping into power on aggressive swings. Additionally, a unique grit paint provides the grab you need for generating lethal levels of spin while a Taper Tech molded design keeps the paddle handle smaller and more manageable. I was definitely excited to get this paddle out on court. Now, I'm not someone that typically gravitates toward thicker paddles, but there were definitely areas where this paddle stood out and impressed on court. As expected, the paddle felt very stable and very soft on contact. It was also very control oriented. That thicker paddle core equates to more energy absorption on contact and therefore kind of slowing that, that ball down in essence and that gives you that greater control and greater consistency. So where that stood out to me the most was when I was on defense, when I was put under pressure, especially when I was in the back of the court and my opponents were wailing aggressive shots at me, I felt like I was getting balls back that I had no business getting back. But not only was I getting them back, but the balls were dropping optimally short inside the kitchen. So they were effective in and of themselves as a shot, but it also gave me that time to, to get back and reset so definitely really great on those defensive shots and on resets another area where it stood out was on spin I felt like it was super easy to generate spin with this paddle and that was an area that I could really use as a weapon there were some areas where I struggled a bit and needed some time to adjust one area was on serves this wasn't a paddle where I was going to be blowing my opponents off court on serve didn't have a lot of oomph behind my serve, but I could make use of the spin on my serves and try to pull my opponents out wide and start off points on serve effective that way. Another area that I struggled at first was um, moving up to net and dinking. Now this is a soft paddle, it has great touch. Of course it does stand out in the dink category, but for me, because I play with a thinner paddle and a paddle that's more responsive on contact, I've adjusted my motion to accommodate for that feel when I'm dinking at net. So when I did that same motion with this paddle, where it has that softer and more energy absorption on contact. If I did that same motion, the balls would kind of die off the paddle. So I needed to adjust and make sure I was putting enough energy into my motion to make sure that my dinks were landing optimally over the net. And then when it came to power, now this is definitely more control oriented, but there were times when I found that sweet spot towards the head of the paddle and was swinging through the ball really hard that I was surprised at the energy return that I did get. So there was some power to tap into when finding that sweet spot, but overall this is going to be a great paddle for the more control-oriented touch player. I was excited to play with this paddle as my first initial reaction was, this thing is definitely deserving of its name. It's got a super thick core, which I want to talk about first. So you've got a sandwich core here between a polymer, Nomex, and polymer again. So what essentially that's going to want to do is the polymer on the outsides is going to provide you plenty of control, softer feel, uh, while the inside gives you a little bit of power with that Nomex. Uh, for me, when I was up at the net getting my more controlled shots, I was very happy with the way this one felt. I will say that with that core, I didn't really notice the Nomex a whole lot when I was more from the baseline or serving, unless I was really crushing the ball. Um, so for those of you who are thinking this might be that perfect blend of control and power, it's definitely more on that control geared side. Some other areas that I did like a lot was there, there's plenty of spin potential here. Um, so the face has plenty of texture, it's got a nice grit. I did notice that after we've hit with this one for a little bit, I would say about 10 hours or so, the grit is starting to wear. So that may be an area that may start to wear down over time pretty quickly. Another area that I did like a lot though is the handle. So it's a very solid handle and also with these thicker millimeters, you can typically get a larger grip size. Uh, but this one at four and one eighth is very comfortable and it's just really solid all around. Overall, this is a really versatile paddle and I would say for anybody that's really into the game, it's definitely worth trying this one out because it has some very unique characteristics. Another exciting day on the pickleball courts, we have the Diadem Warrior pickleball paddle. Uh, we're play testing today. It's a 19 millimeter thick paddle, a little bit thicker than most paddles, and it weighs out at 8.5 ounces, a little heavier. But with that, you get good control. It has a uh, sandy grit surface where you get good spin on the ball. But what I noticed when I was playing with it the most was from back, I could hit the, hit the balls into the drop zone real easy. And when I was up at the net, the dinking in the soft game is, is real good with this paddle because of the control you get with it. The one thing I didn't like about the paddle was at the back line, you had to generate your own power. And being a little guy like I am, I, I don't have a lot of that. So this is a, a paddle that would be fit more for the finesse player. Out of a five, I'd rate it a four for control. It's a, really confident on, on hitting your third shot drops. And like I said, at the uh, no volley zone uh, and, and having a soft game, 
very, very pinpoint accuracy on the uh, shots. Overall, this paddle is a good paddle. I would recommend it for anyone that's a top tier player that's looking for control and uh, spin. It's heavier, so you're gonna have a little bit more trouble at the net with it, moving it and getting it in position to hit the, the quick returns back at the no volley zone. But I would recommend it for that, like I said, the top tier player that uh, is looking for an elongated paddle with a little bit of weight. That was the little downside on it, was the weight of the paddle for me, but I would definitely recommend it for someone who is looking for a controlled game. For more information on this paddle or any of the paddles that we carry, go to totalpickleball.com.